Welcome to the Little Liberty Lowdown. I'm Kay Walsh. And I'm Jenny Smith. Today we're sharing a brand new product that has never existed before that Liberty have brought out this week and they are some art prints that you can put on your wall, in your homes or in your sewing studio which is what I definitely plan to do. So tell us a little bit about them Kay. Okay so they've brought out 13 prints all based on archival designs. They're on 170 gram paper so a nice heavy weight of paper. They're 50 centimetres by 40 centimetres, so a good size, unframed, and we're going to talk you through a few of the designs that we particularly love. Yeah, so basically when we were writing the book Quilting with Liberty Fabrics, we got to spend time looking at the Liberty Archive, there's over 50,000 prints in there, and often you get these beautiful old swatch books and, and scraps of paper, and they've designed the prints to look like those, so they've got that real timeless, yeah. classic bit vintagey. Yeah, yeah, like a kind of heirloom print, so they'd look nice in a modern interior, but also I think you'd imagine they'd have a nice lifespan. I think sometimes yeah. with wall art, you don't want it to be too fleeting, you know, you want it to be something... Classic. Yeah, and they're only £30, so they're not huge investment pieces either. We're slightly worried that they're going to sell out, <laughs> so we're like, right, which ones do we desperately need to get? But yeah, let's talk you through a few of the prints. La Jeunesse is one of the prints and when I saw it I was like what? Because that is a very similar, it's what this brand new print called Edie, which is the name of my daughter, is obviously based on and when you read the details of this archive print it's actually from 1910 which is a really really old print in the Liberty Archive. So I'm loving that one, I love the colourway of the actual print and obviously this fabric is close to my heart. I still haven't decided what to sew up with this tan alone, but I'm thinking about it. This print is Poppy and Daisy, a more muted tones for maybe a different lower key interior, but Poppy and Daisy, what an archive print. Again, back in the 1910s, I've got it on this vintage shirt that I'm wearing here. I've got it on this other vintage bit of fabric that I've got in my goodie bag and we also used it in more recent colourways in the book as well so a beautiful print that has a special place in our heart. I'm going to go for a print called Freeze which is based on a design from 1968 by Bernard Neville which you can also see on the front of this beautiful book. Find out more in the Liberty Lowdown episode 2 about why I love it so much. With a totally different feel, Jenny and I are both really liking this other print called Atwell, which is another one by Bernard Neville. He designed it in 1964 and it's a geometric design on landscape this time rather than a portrait orientation, so something a bit different for your house. I really like the vintage style typeface. Yes which gives a uniformity so all the prints have got that on so even if you went for quite varied designs yeah. like a floral and a real modern graphic print yeah. that kind of will make them look like part of a, a set work there and yeah. I think they definitely work having two or three or at least that's what <laughs> I've, I've got in my basket that's what I'm going for yeah and if you do fancy buying one uh, we're going to put all the links below there is free UK shipping at the moment until June the 15th yeah, and amazing news is that Liberty at the moment are offering free shipping and returns to the USA. So if you are across the water um, over there, then you can buy from Liberty's website and get free shipping and free returns. So that's our little lowdown for this week. Keep curious and love Liberty.